Star Wars movies are garbage. That's why they always make you wait super long, like, for what? It's like it's all those fans. All those people who didn't really have, you know, just like Star Wars and shit for whatever reason. Like, they gave Star Wars all this false hype. They just like they can do whatever they want, be as boring as hell, and people would still just be there for them. Did you see Dro- Doctor Strange? Yeah. What do you think of that? I liked it. It was very trippy. Wish I was, wish I was on drugs. Mm-hmm. Some psychedelics. I enjoyed it. It was way better than, oh my god. Childish the plot of the Spider-Man movie was. So childish. You know, we're talking about Multiverse of Madness, right? What do you mean? Yeah, you saw, you saw Multiverse of Madness, right? Doctor Strange? Mm, yeah, yeah. I don't know which one you're talking about. Yeah. No, it's cool. Oh, no, I might be yeah. thinking about the Spider-Man movie he was in. Yeah, I was like, um... I mean, he was Spider-Man was mentioned, but he was not in the movie. I mean, there was some other people that was in the movie that got fucked up. Scarlet Witch didn't give a shit. She said, oh, you can, uh... She said, what mouth? And showed the dude with no mouth and killed him. Oh man, I don't know. How do you feel about who's your favorite character in the boys? The boys. I would say uh, Kimiko and Frenchie. Specifically Kimiko, because yeah. I love I love uh, Karen Fukuhara. She's one of my faves. She's a really good singer too. Yeah. A singer, eh? More billion dollars. Oh more billion dollars, my friend. More billion. This is more tastic. <laughs> more tacular. <laughs> it is beautiful. You have been morbing. And they have some stupid ass dance sequence in that movie too. I'm just like, yo, what is this scene for? <laughs> dance sequence. Yeah. It, it's the main the the main villain was dancing in front of a mirror. I was just like, bruh. <laughs> it's like, this can't, this can't be Morbid it. Morbid to the beat. Morbid. Delicious. Morbid. Morbid his time away. God, you told me Kimiko and Frenchie were your favorite characters. Yeah, Kimiko. Why? You're just a softie. How am I a softie? No, I, I told you. I lo- Karen. The, Karen. Karen. functional company. I, I I love Ki- uh, Karen Fukuhara, and plus her pa- uh, Kimiko's powers. She's a she's essentially a mortal. And, and, she, yeah, just like Wolverine. Did you? I'm pretty sure if they decapitated her, she'd die. Well, you decapitate Wolverine, put his head. I mean, he'd still be talking, or you just connect his head, and he'll be all right. I mean, you they legit yeah. you you legit saw Kimiko get her fucking body uh like. Destroyed. <laughs> mm-hmm. What do you mean destroyed? What are you talking about? In the labs, the testing labs. No, in um, in the fight with Stormfront. Speaking of which, mm-hmm. that was that was wild with uh, Stormfront and uh, Homelander. Oh, my in the in the uh, uh opening episode of The Boy season three, when he's like so mad, he just let's she was like oh come here come here uh let me relieve your stress and she got one arm and <laughs> she's just sitting there dying in the bed i was like bro i was like this can't be <laughs> yeah she bit off her tongue and swallowed it but at the same time they hinted that she might not be dead really how they hint that uh the the showrunner was like well you didn't really see a body so mm. i was like mm, okay I guess that she took her away from fucking mm-hmm. oh. what's his face? Yeah, his deranged ass. Is that what it was? Probably. No, that was that whole shit was ridiculous. He's so weird, bro. Mm-hmm. My biggest like, my biggest flaw in that character, my biggest question of his character is when he killed that lady, and then you know he killed he killed the blonde haired woman that was like he was basically like his weird fetish woman like that was his girl. And then he went and in, in like the somewhere in the second season, you caught him 
go to the shapeshift, the fat dude shapeshifter's house, like having him dress up as her so he can have sex with her. And I'm just like, how does that not like? I don't know. You remember, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That was that was like, bruh. Because that was so disturbing. Because then he shapeshifted. Because then the shapeshifter shifted into uh, himself, like into Homelander. Oh, God. And then all that. I yeah, was like, I forgot about that part. I was like, bro, um, like I, I get the ideology behind this, but fuck. <laughs> it's just not right. <laughs> it's just, oh, it's, man, that was a terrible it's just disturbing to look at, but it's, it was, it was a good, it was good though. It was just a bad decision all around. And then, um, the deep got through so much. I feel bad for the deep. You feel bad for him? Well, not not he... well not for what he did in season one, but the 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 shit that he uh the Homelander puts him through. Like, if mm. you've seen in season three, uh, they uh you know obviously he gets welcomed back to the seven and stuff, and they're having dinner, mm-hmm. and then he's like, oh, I had I had them uh make up something f- uh just for you, deep. And then he comes out with his best friend Tony, <laughs> the the octopus. I was like, damn. And he's like, eat him. Yeah. Eat him. Yeah, and he's Remember and he then having he, sex with that girl. Ten minutes before that, he was having sex with the girl. He was dirty talking to the octopus. Yeah, I've seen that. He's like, what are you gonna do? Jerk me off with all your arms? I mean, and- <laughs> I mean, if you you think about it, he was he was having a a, a fling with a dolphin. Until he accidentally killed the dolphin. <laughs> was he that was in se- yeah, that was in season one. He was trying to make a uh, he was trying to uh, break her free. That's not a fling, though. Like no, they were no no they were they were doing it, but at the same time, he was trying to help her get free. <laughs> he was fucking the dolphin. Yeah, and then a and then a train. He's weird. <laughs> But yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. A Train is just a black guy, but no, everybody's questionable. And as opposed to that guy, Deep, like I don't know, bro. He fucks animals. Like he's just weird. I, I can't really truly be on his side. I mean, honestly, he if you think, I mean, honestly, if you think about it, that's the same way with uh, questioning if Aquaman fucks fish. But at least Aquaman, we keep it under wraps. Deep is just like such nah, a terrible nah. You that mean? I guess you haven't seen uh, Peacemaker then. Uh, the show on HBO Max. Yeah. So it's a it's a DC show. Uh, it's a sequel to the Suicide Squad, uh, the one that came out last year. Uh, so mm-hmm. the, it's eight episodes long. It's pretty good. It's violent. Um, so one of the run on jokes through the series is there's a rumor going about that Aquaman fucks fish, and apparently it's at. Uh, I, I don't want to really spoil it, but let's just say a certain person confirms that he does. Oh my god. <laughs> so that's canon. <laughs> that he fucks fish? <laughs> because it's not a rumor. <laughs> that's wild. That's wild. Why? I guess mermaids are fish. But like, come on. That's crazy, bro. That's just so low. It's bestiality. That's like saying any fucking land. That's like any human fucking a land creature. Like, just because you can swim underwater doesn't mean you can just get the fuck fish. Mm. That's ridiculous. See? I don't know why, but they always make the fucking aqua people the losers of the group. Because. The biggest loser. Because people think it's a lame power to have. And they basically neutered the black guy. The black guy isn't even really that fast. He was just a crackhead. <laughs> well, no, he was fast, but he was enhancing his power with that uh, with the drug. But it got to a point that, uh, you know, if he does, if he runs again, he'll he'll die. Mm-hmm. So he's trying to switch mm-hmm. his life around. But it's crazy but, that uh, he was. Kind of... The only thing about that, though, I just. I, I'm just mad at is the fact that he killed Huey's girlfriend and he's just like, you know, just chill, still chilling around. Because honestly, because cause honestly, I would have killed A-Train. I'm like, 
Yeah, bro. <laughs> I can't believe he was such a bitch. And that's what I'm saying. Of course, I thought at that's the very it. beginning, I was like, of course you like who you named you like, because they're the only couple who gets it. Listen, have you ever seen Vampire Diaries? Nope. No? Yes. Oh, okay. But listen, there's two characters in Vampire Diaries. One's name is Stefan, and one's name is Elaine. Or no, Stefan and somebody else, right? Every time they're on the screen, make a joke to my girl. They're like, oh, they're on the screen. Nothing important is about to happen. Like, literally, as long as they have screen time, I promise you the show will be dull and unimportant, and they're just going to do something that's going to irritate me. And it never seems to fail. And that's exactly how I feel about Huey. Like, every time Huey's on the screen, I'm going to watch somebody make every choice that I would not make, you know? And just watch him make the weirdest decisions, along with his girl, Starlight. So it's just like, just be prepared to be uncomfortable and disappointed when you see them on screen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ain't that like, bad, man. Huey, I think he's that bad. He, I mean, I, mean, like, I would have kept the translucent dude alive, cause he didn't kill anybody. Translucent, and you actually had him by the balls. You actually like, you know what I mean? Like, well, also, they, he was really like begging for his life and shit. Well, no, if you think about it though, so at the the reason why he did that was because translucent said he didn't have the balls to do it, and plus he was translucent was about to ex- escape, so. Yeah, I mean, he, he was, was like, like, he was like, like he, could have been. so like, imagine if, uh, you had someone that was talking shit, beat the shit out of you and was but about to le- deal with him though. Yeah, they could have, yeah. they could have, they but at, it different like, the whole time. There's yeah. no good cop, bad cop. Huey could have been good cop. Yeah, you, they could, they could have handled it differently, but the, you got to think about Huey's character and then the fact that. Translucent pretty much called him a bitch. Won't ain't gonna do nothing, and he's about to walk off after beating the crap out of them to escape. And then it's like, all right, well, my emotions are different now. You just pissed me off, so boom. Obviously, they were mad that he did that, but you know, emotions can get the best of you, and then you regret your decisions after, which they essentially did because you know, <laughs> Vaught had to do something about it. Yeah. Now what I do I like something, bro. Now what I do like what is type? what uh Homelander and Butcher, they were just chilling in Butcher's apartment and they were like, "You know what? I'm done with this peace crap. Like, let's cause chaos." And he's like, "You know what? For once I agree." And he was like, "Good, because hopefully at the end of this is going to be either me or you and fighting to the death." I'm like, "Oh shit. Damn, Homelander. All mm-hmm. right." And then Homelander's like, People love me for me. All right, cool. I'm I'm gonna start doing me now. <laughs> and told that girl to jump oh, off God. the, told that girl to jump off the roof. I was like, bro. <laughs> I was like, they really did that Superman moment. That was a Superman moment. Yeah. So if you ever seen like on the internet, um, some guy did this art, uh, this art panel where, um. Comparing the man of, like the de- the the live action version, uh, Man of Steel mm-hmm. and the comics, and there's a, a a goth girl who is about to to jump off the building. So now with the comics version of Superman, he came down, comforted her, and said, "Hey, it's not worth it. It's okay. I'm here for you. You know, like being like being supportive and stuff, like mm-hmm. being a real hero." Now, the live-action version, and now if you see Man of Steel and, you know, the whole fight sequence and the city being destroyed, pretty much it's the whole panel. Hers on, She's on the edge, and all you see is Superman and Zod burst through the building, collapsing the building, and she falls to her death. And then the guy was pretty much, like, saying oh, the difference yeah. between a live-action Superman and comic Superman. But they did a, the boys did a little spin on it with Homelander, he saying like, "Oh, hey, you know, like you mm-hmm. shouldn't do that," and then finds out like the love of his mm-hmm. life is committed suicide. And now he's just like, "You know what? Just jump. <laughs> nobody's <laughs> gonna save." She, he was like, "Nobody's gonna save you. I'm the only one in the sky." <laughs> I'm like, "Damn." Yeah. And she's like, "I don't really want to jump anymore." I'm, I'm like, like, "Nope, nope." You're she's like, "Nope, you're, you're <laughs> jumping now." <laughs> <laughs> and then nobody even cared about that and it's just like yeah no no but you know what it was after i watched um the boys i watched 
Unbreakable? No, it was Invincible. Invincible, yeah. Invincible? Yeah, I saw that, that too. <laughs> my favorite scene is the is train when scene. The aliens? No, no. Let's. let's oh. <laughs> the alien scene when he fucking the aliens come through and they like keep trying to invade Earth and like the young boy he can't beat them. Like he's always just barely beating. They're all getting lucky and shit. The aliens keep coming back more advanced, and it's like the third or fourth time when this dude's like, you know what? Fuck these aliens. Fucking. Flies straight through the fucking portal and just like he's going, and then they, they cut back to this like the boy going to his mom's house. And he's like, Mom, dad's off in another universe, blah blah blah. Oh, yeah, I saw that. I don't even care. And that's just another Tuesday. I thought he was like in danger or something. And he's like, What the fuck? And then the dude, because the best part. The dude fucking obliterates this alien race, like like their whole like their whole everything, bro. Yeah, yeah, like I he's saw like that. Top of New York. It was, it was so, it was so metal. <laughs> I was like, hey, that yo, shit. my man, he, he destroyed him, bro. My man said, this isn't your world to conquer. And at first, like when you like, if you don't see read the comics or anything like that, you you think of him as like, okay, he's being a hero. Oh, he's trying is. to, huh? Mm-hmm. Like you you know, he's like, okay, being a hero, trying to save the day, all that stuff. Nah, he was he was like, he's like, look, I'm already here to conquer this planet, and you Basically. ain't stopping. You're not stopping me Basically. from doing that. Just that shit. That then you find that out at the end, like the whole time he was just here to, to take over the earth. And then I feel like you know I feel like it's gonna happen. I feel like he's just gonna wait a couple thousand years and then come back and he's gonna pick up his son. <laughs> no, if you read the comics, um, something else. It it, it it's oh. different. Uh, he actually uh, vanishes to another planet and he has another kid and just goes on about his life. Like a dad, oh, yeah. like a dad, uh, going to go get milk and vanishes, and you find out he has a whole different life <laughs> without oh, you. Wow. So then they just start is it Invincible its own comic with the boy in or what? Yeah, Invincible is its own comic by Robert Kirkman, who did The Walking Dead. Um, that is a whole like honestly, if you see it, the the season one barely touches anything in book one of Invincible. So we have there's a lot to go with that show. Damn, really? Yep. I like it, but I'm saying does it follow the dad more or does it follow the kid more? No, it follows the kid. It, it follows the kid more. because uh, he's the kid's the main oh, character, so but the dad is um he, he plays a prominent part. Cause he's supposed to be the next heir. He he's supposed to be the next heir of the Viltrumites, but he he didn't want to be. Yeah, I like the dad. I kind of started like I don't know, really understanding him after he explained all that shit. You know, I mean, how do you feel about him? Like, I feel like I can understand Homelander and the dad in multiple stories to an extent. You no. know. Mm-hmm. I have a power like that. Most of you had. No, Homelander's a douche. The 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 Viltrumites. Homelander's a douche. Homelander's a douche, but the Viltrumites they are, um. They're they're pretty much just say the Superman's uh like Kryptonians, but with Saiyan powers. That's all they are. Mm. Mm. I can see that. I can see that. That that, that that's, that's the best compare. That's the best comparison I can set. Uh, I can tell you about. Yeah, um, that's why I can't knock him. I mean, even Homelander though. Sometimes, sometimes, some moments they'll have me be like, "All right, I kind of understand." Because you know he was just always treated like shit, you know, as a person, and then he just has all this power, but doesn't really have a place. And he's just, I don't know, he's just he's power hungry. Like I understand that he's crazy. You know what that I mean, I mean he yeah. had he didn't have a life, and then he realized that his life was a lie, and then he's the all mo- he's like the most powerful human being on the not damn planet. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Like, how would you feel if your entire life was a lie, being a hero? 
And then you have Not all this. Not only that, Sean, you had unlimited power. Not only was your life alive, but you were literally like the strongest thing on the planet, and you could end life. You feel like you could end life on this fucking earth if you wanted to. That's what I mean. That's what that's what he said in um one of the uh, I think it was the third episode uh, when Starlight she was like, hey, uh, if you you know she was trying to do the vendetta of like I will release the the airplane clip of him pretty much leaving the family, all the the, the plane passengers to oh, die yeah, and stuff. Cool. He was like, go ahead, do it. I don't care. Because at that point, I got nothing to lose. And trust me. That was some shit. <laughs> he was like, I got nothing to lose at that point. And since I got nothing to lose, there's nothing that's going to stop me. He's, he was, and then he started laying like a, a, a plan off the whim of what he would do. He was like, listen, I'll wipe <laughs> out the White House, the Pentagon. I'll cut off all <laughs> internet and communication. And then I'll lay waste <laughs> to New York City... And a cu- and your hometown for the fun of it, before I destroy the rest of the world. I was like, sheesh. Her hometown, May's hometown. Yeah, it was it was May's hometown. So yeah, like, May- he wasn't even talking to. <laughs> it's just like sheesh. You thought about this, bro. But then that's exactly what the other nigga did, bro. When the when they were trying to take over Earth, the other dude literally went to the other planet and did it, bro. All, I, all I'm gonna say is wait. That, that was one of my favorite scenes in anime. Wait, wait until uh the future seasons because there's some Viltrumites that you haven't seen yet that are crazy. Yeah, I feel like the dad has to come back and help him fight. You gotta. Uh, you should read the comics <laughs> then. Tell me, I don't know where, where these comics be at. You can find them online. You can order it on Amazon if you wanted to. Sure, if you order it off of Amazon, you can get a deal. <laughs> order on Amazon. I'm going to just go on YouTube and have that dude read it to me. Oh, yeah, you could do that, too. There's plenty of people that do that. <laughs> they even did a, uh, in the comics, they did a crossover with Spider-Man. I don't think they're going to do that. Really? I, don't, I don't think they're going to do that in live action, though. But pretty much he makes yeah, fun of... Know, I like Cosmic Spider-Man. I want somebody to make a cosmic Spider-Man series. Too bad Spider-Man only gets godlike powers like for like twenty minutes or some shit like that. Like one comic book. You know what I'm talking about cosmic Spider-Man? Cosmic? Really? Nah. I don't know that. That's wild, bro. Cosmic look at look him up. Or maybe Spider-Man. I do or maybe I do. I just Blessed. I'm just not thinking it straight. He's blessed with cosmic abilities. He's, he's basically, I don't know. Look, they do, I feel they, like it's a Spider-Man that can beat Superman. Look, they do too much anyway with him because they already got a what if Spider, uh, what if Miles Morales was Hulk? I'm like, bro, like, can you like what? do something different? Is he Hulk and Spider-Man? No, he's just Hulk, but Miles Morales. That's crazy. I'm like, what's the point? Is that a what if series? Like the animated series? It's a it's a what if, but it's in the comics. It's a one issue comic, I think. I'm just like, bro, can you do something different? <coughs> you got what if, and you you riffing off character uh, similar characters to the other characters. Bring bring some other shit. And... I see what you mean. It's like why why is the what if still involve a Hulk story? As we know the Hulk story. No, I, I, it's just like all right, Miles Mor- like like with Miles Morales, they got him turning into Hulk. That they got him as Thor. They got him as like pretty much just being other characters. And it's like all right, that's cool, but like I, I just nothing different. What if um, Thor was the black sixteen year old? What? Yeah, it's just like uh, we already got a uh, literally what they're doing, black sixteen year old Thor. <laughs> Basically, I'm just like, bro. It's so stupid. You could just fucking make a new character. Like how you, they, all the new characters that are coming out now do the same thing with What If. Or like switch it up where it feels like it's drastic. 
I, I don't know. I feel like there's there's like a creative window that's just not fully tapped in. Because like, I don't know. Like, what if different people die in their lives? You know, mm-hmm. some shit like that. I don't know. I feel oh. like what you mean. It's like they're missing opportunities. Yeah, and there's like certain opportunities. You, also, <laughs> you also have to give them the fact that there's infinite possibilities to move from there. So they gotta have True. something uniform. Oh, speaking so of, they're gonna produce something. Speaking of, you know, actually, this is the this was actually the topic that I wanted to talk about. Um. All right, so you've seen Doctor, yeah, okay. so you, so you've seen Doctor Strange, right? Yeah. Yeah, Multiverse of Madness. Um, mm-hmm. have did, you heard me talk about uh the other movie, Everything Everywhere All at Once? Ooh, maybe. Yeah, I went to uh, the so last the last time we re- one of the times that we recorded. I went to the movies to see it right after. I've seen it like three. I've seen it three times in theaters. It's super like it's. I, it better win Best Picture next year. That's that's all I'm saying. You like it that much? I'm I'm laying. Yeah, I like it that much because it's one original. Two, it it's very creative. It's funny. Uh, it almost it, like legit. It made me cry on the inside. I would have actually. I almost shedded like full mm-hmm. tears if I didn't hold them back. But I was just like each time, mm-hmm. each moments too. E- the the same exact moments, no matter mm-hmm. which time I saw it, still hit me mm-hmm. hard. So I was like, all right, mm-hmm. this is officially my number one movie. Wow. It comes out on DVD soon. Uh, but it goes it goes okay. digital. It goes digital this sometime this uh coming up I think this week, but anyway, um so, uh that's another multiverse movie. So I was, I was uh, thinking of a, just a fun topic to think about is, uh in the words of Doctor Strange, what do you know about the multiverse? Mm. So like Jack I shit. <laughs> It's a inf- it's a world of infinite possibilities. <laughs> See now, I would I would go more deep into it movie wise, like comparing Doctor Strange and that one. Mm-hmm. But I know you haven't seen everything everywhere yet. But um, I will say so. Doctor Strange they try to tie the multiverse with not only a character that jumps through the universes, but every dream that you ever have in your in your life is you reliving another version of yourself in the multiverse unlike mm. everything everywhere uh do you uh there's a device that allows you to link your consciousness with another version of yourself in the multiverse <coughs> i thought which oh, both okay. of them, which are both creative in a way but i'll admit that everything everywhere does the multiverse more honestly better i mean obviously Mm -hmm. um because because of how creative it gets with it and how like Mm -hmm. crazy multiverse of madness was still decent but it was still a marvel Mm -hmm. movie that it's like okay we're in this universe we meet these people you know that thing but it was still like Mm -hmm. uh it was still a marvel film but anyway like besides that like what if the multiverse was real Right, I mean, there. Honestly, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll be a person that will admit that I believe in the multiverse. I don't care what anybody says. You can't prove me wrong, and I can't prove you right until one day someone decides to say, "Hey, <laughs> I managed to connect our universe with another parallel universe," and boom, <laughs> we won't know. Right? But the idea is endless. It's an infinite amount of possibilities. So if the universe, if the multiverse was real. Mm-hmm. What do you think is out there? Mm. Mm, I don't know, man. I just think about... Just, mm, I don't know. I just think about all types of shit. I just think about there's no way it could possibly exist. Or why would it exist this way? I wouldn't it. Mm-hmm. Like... What does it say there's people anywhere else? Or like, 
you know, like the Rick and Morty theory where it's just like, yeah, there's chairs and there's pizza that is chairs and chairs that is pizza. It was like, nobody else even gives a fuck about pizza anywhere. You think pizza is just being recreated in a bunch of different ways. Like, it's always a square inside of a triangle box, some shit. You know, it's just different. Like, I don't know, man. It's hard. Give me, give me some ideas of what you think is out there in the multiverse. Huh. I still... I still got to see it. Hmm. Well, I mean, it depends because really the multiverse is just no uh, in a lot of situations, a lot of people connect the multiverse as think of it as the time uh, a, a a linear timeline, a prime timeline, and each time you mm-hmm. either make a big decision or a small decision that branches out to uh, another another thing which in a sense could be another timeline and in that sense that timeline is now a separate universe because say um this is where time and space comes like one like it all comes together but anyway uh so Mm -hmm. say like prime you right you're out you're about to make the biggest decision of your life one it could be college or uh, taking a, a a huge job offer, so there's two separate things that can happen. You take the job or you don't take the job. Say you take the job, everything goes well. You get higher pay. You got a nice house. You're you're living lavishly. Mm-hmm. Other you that didn't take the job is probably in a opposite direction where. He is in the slums, broke, poor, trying to get by each day, starts con arting, uh, con, being a con artist. And then being a con artist could lead to something else where you're probably in the mafia. You're in separate, you, you know, you're in a different lane of existence. But even then, even those decisions mm-hmm. that you made in the other universe has its own consequences because even those choices branch out into other things. It's like you ever played one of those Telltale games, or like uh, one of those games yeah. that basically you make uh, everything's affected by the choices you make. Think of it as mm-hmm. like, all right, that 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 could be a branch off of of like different universes in a sense. You got a main, you got a main one that is like, okay, the true ending, the true beginning to end story. That's the prime thing. But during that time frame, you make a drastic decision that could change that trajectory into another another way. Like, for example, in uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once, uh, one of the universes that she's in, um, she goes blind. She stays home instead of going with her boyfriend to America. And she, as a kid, she runs around and she trips and she gets blinded by a pole impaling her eyes. And so, uh, due to her injury, she had started trying to uh, recover and she got into singing. So then she became an opera singer. Mm -hmm. In another universe, she uh, does the same thing by leaving, uh, not going with her boyfriend to America, but she gets mugged and then she learns Kung Fu to, as self defense, she still goes blind, though. Huh? No, she doesn't go she blind. Go blind. She doesn't go blind. This is a di- like it, that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. But she gets mugged instead in a later point of her life, mm-hmm. and then she learns kung fu, takes that to another level. To you know, doing tournaments, you know, winning. Then she takes the her skills to Hollywood. Mm-hmm. Hollywood makes her a big star. Now she's a huge martial arts star. So, like, so many different things can happen that can pretty much essentially make you different from yourself. Mm. Which, in a sense, that's a, which in a sense, that's a different universe. So, let's say, like, for example, there's probably a universe out there where zombies are real. I could be dead. You could be dead, or we both surviving somehow. Who knows? 
It could be another universe oh, where I feel like it could be another universe where uh, Hitler won World War Two, or Russia made it to the moon before us, as far as landing, instead of Armstrong, or somebody else besides Armstrong landed. Exactly. No, but what I think about is, is simple shit like this. There's just <laughs> I don't know. Think about it. There's a is there an infinite amount of them out there? Where do they fit? If there is an infinite amount, then that means there's some that are completely so fucking different. Like we it wouldn't even be a possibility for us to even make the same decisions later on in life. Because we wouldn't even be in the same positions. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like and then there's other universes where, like, every single fucking thing is the same. Yeah. Because if I, it's an infinite amount, there has to be that. And if it's infinite, that means there's an infinite amount of universes where everything is the same. That's kind of weird. I, I can't really fuck around with these concepts. Here's a concept that I made up uh, one day. Uh, so there's four different types of of universes throughout the multiverse you have the parallel you have the perpendicular you have the macro and you have the micro so the parallel is in in the sense of what you were saying where your universe and another are aligned like the same decisions you make happens in the other one there's maybe a slight difference but it's still the same so say like uh, you like Pop Tarts, other version of you likes Pop Tarts, but maybe the difference is the different flavor. Or you make a decision and the other makes a decision, it still has the same outcome, just the method was different. Now, perpendicular is it's there's one nexus point in your life that makes it completely <coughs> opposite so say like prime you right your <coughs> universe perpendicular mm -hmm. it's 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 you but instead of you being born male it's female or say it's just aliens or you know or um humanity has sausage for fingers like in um in the movie or, exactly. or like in, or in uh, Doctor Strange, everybody is paint. You know, it's still the same, but the physics there, everything is just different. Now, micro is so like you know a lot of branching timelines, branching universes, all that stuff. Um, I think of it as say micro is micro universes are ones where your life is still the same. But you just make those different small choices. So say like you choose tomorrow, you got to go into work. You can either choose to eat breakfast or not eat breakfast. All right. You choose to eat breakfast. Cool. You're, you're full for the day. Yeah. There's another universe where you chose not to eat breakfast, so you're just hungry. Now, macro is where something drastic happens in your life. So say like we take that up a mm -hmm. notch where... You are, you choose not to eat, right? But then that causes right. something down the line for your body to, you know, not function right, shut down, die of starvation, you know, something <coughs> like that. I don't know. Anything mm -hmm. that's just like drastic that would change your life completely, that is a, a major change into, your, into that universe compared to the prime one it sounds crazy but that's like the only way i can like definitely make sense of it, anything that i just made up because only because hey exactly. you can't because you can't prove that it's not wrong and you can't prove that it's right but it's a theory <laughs> a game theory it's a, it's a theory, man. That's all That's all science is. It's nothing but theories that can be proven and can't be proven. Mm, I mean, yeah, I guess. This is, it's just, this is just, I don't know. 
We call it a hypothesis. I don't know, spitballing. Whatever you want to call it. But, um, yeah, it's spitballing, really. I don't know, parallel universes, different dimensions. I don't know. Is it just shit people just think too hard about? Like, I'm just thinking about <laughs> how will it ever benefit us if there is or if there was, you know what I mean? We have so many issues in our own one universe, we don't even have the time to be occupied with other ones. Mm, yeah, true. Oh. I don't know. I just wish it's real. Because maybe there's a, a life out there <laughs> where we're all rich. <laughs> Can't switch places because it might, uh, the physics over there might be different than ours. Yeah, it just it just seems crazy. It's like there could be a world, but like this, so many things would have to randomly be the same, and not be the same at the same time. Because like when you think of when I think of a whole different universe, I think of the possibility of Earth even being fucking created again. You know, all right, but if we're like all oh, make it to us wearing clothes and like they're actually being somebody like me, but like. There's no way, like, all types of, like, people, different people are going to be alive and shit like that. I don't even know. This, this is honestly a moment where you got to get high and just start thinking. Yeah, because I... I've, a lot of range of things to think about. Yeah, because I, I only asked that question because, honest, um, when I went to the movies to see it again and then somebody else <coughs> had saw uh, Doctor Strange and that one. And I was like, all right, which one did you think was better? And we just, like, literally just sat down and started talking about it. I was like, all right, now I got to I'm, – I'm curious what other people think. And just, like, mm. just, just I have, think, like, a random well, you, conversation. You wouldn't be universe of people rich. I want a universe of people who have superpowers. <laughs> nah. Nah. Don't get me powers. <laughs> You don't want me having powers, especially if it's like Superman. Like Superman's powers? Nah. Mm -hmm. You have, you have that pink girl from um, My Hero Academy's powers. What? Who's the? Who's the? Who, what is it? Is she? Is she the one with the gravity? <laughs> yep. Honestly, that's not bad. Yeah, if I, if I can. Gravity. Honestly, if I'm if I'm able to alter gravity, I would just turn the entire house to a hyperbolic time. Um, that that train chamber that Vegeta trains in, where it's like it wouldn't 15. be a hyperbolic time chamber. Yeah, no, wait, that's the. Wait, that's you know crazy? Could it be? Could you make <laughs> gravity so heavy that light moves slower in it? Like I don't even know. And then just like time is just. Uh, mm, time. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Gravity and time. It's like you're playing one of those sandbox games, and it's like you only have fire, water, earth, and air. You gotta make computer chips. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a, like an alchemist game. You just throw shit together. I'm like, if you just have enough control over time, could you do some other dumb shit? <laughs> I watched it in an anime. I would believe it. Some anime character was like, yeah, my power is only crushing things, but I crush things on an atomic level. I crush time. What? <laughs> I crushed. Seen, um, Fire Force? <laughs> nah, that's, I, that's on my Fire list Force. though. That's my, that's on my list though. Oh, you're asleep. Did you did you did you watch the comics and you read the comic books or anything? No. It's on my list. Yeah, you're asleep. So I, I'll have to. I have that to. anime is a lot better than it is perceived to be. Like they really hold themselves back with the whole fireman stick. Cause like. That's like a, I don't know. That's like the least interesting thing about the entire anime. I think that's to like get like general audiences to to get into it. Because that's what I thought it was and that's what made me not interested. But, that's what I'm saying. But after I saw like certain uh, clips and stuff like that, I was like, oh, okay. That might actually Bro, be interesting. These niggas go from fire to like literally manipulating time. It doesn't make any sense. I'm like, am I watching the same show? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The dude, some dude in the show has like, he has like a fucking personal link to Satan. Some shit like that. Nigga, what? Blessed with the almighty flame. <laughs> yeah. 
that's where you're getting his firepowers from. You're getting them from Satan. <laughs> oh, did you watch? Oh, did you watch? Um, Re Zero. Re Zero. Uh, yeah. no, that's on my list. Oh, you're asleep. You're asleep on that too, bro. Look, I got, I got a bunch. I'm, I'm starting to get back into watching anime, especially. Oh no, those are short and good though. Yeah, no. So, I mean, I so that's it. so I'm. I'll watch it. I just got to get through. Uh, fuck. What was that? What What else is on your list? Maybe that I've seen. Cause I haven't seen a lot of shit, but. I don't know. I know you've seen what's your face. Seen what? What was it? Uh, Death Note. Oh yeah, that I, I saw that you a seen long. Death Note, right? Yeah, I seen that a long time ago. Oh, did you know Rick and Mo did you know Rick and Morty is getting an anime? No way. Yeah, it's getting an anime officially. And that's lit. Who's doing it? Who's doing the anime? Mm, all they did was announce it. I can't say anything after that. It'll be on Adult Swim though. Mm. Mm. Oh, you you got to you got to cop multiverses. When you can, uh, when, when it multiverse. Yeah, yeah, when when yeah. it comes out, he's losing the whites. He lives in what is multiverses? So it's like Warner Brothers. Indeed? It's like Warner Brothers version of Smash. It's really good. I've been um. Mm. I've been okay. uh. I've been doing. I I did the closed alpha because I was a beta tester for it. Yeah, what is it on? What, what system is it on? It's crossplay. It's gonna be on PC, Xbox, PlayStation. Um, it's a, it's pretty good. I during the closed alpha, I had codes to share to people, like if they wanted to play with me and stuff. I shared it to one of my friends, and they didn't play it, but I shared it to um someone that I'm talking to, and we were fiending on it because she has Xbox, so. I was like, all right, bet it's crossplay. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So I was playing on the P5. She was playing on Xbox. Just chilling. Mm -hmm. It's good though. Uh, <coughs> it plays just. It's. It's pretty sim. Uh, the mechanics are pretty simple. Uh, like each character has their unique abilities and stuff like that. Shaggy is is like the best way I can compare him. He's almost similar to Ganondorf. With the way he plays, yeah, did they make him OP? They yeah, made him OP. Yeah, all those memes. Yeah, so he's like, like you know how the memes made him go Ultra Instinct and Super Saiyan and stuff. Well, he doesn't go uh, mm -hmm. like his hair doesn't go glowing yellow, but he uh he does power up similar to like how Goku does, and his attacks get stronger. Uh, his his kicks mm. and his knees. Like his knee attacks, they're they're crazy, and then you can chain his uppercut to to knock somebody out mm. of bounds. Oh no, chain his uppercut. Who else is in there? Uh, for the for the beta right now. Well, for the beta coming up in July, which will be open for everybody, it's Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Tom and Jerry, uh. Bugs Bunny, Steven, Uni uh, Steven Universe, Garnet, uh, Arya Stark from Game of Thrones, Harley Quinn, Jake and Finn, uh, Shaggy, Velma, oh Taz, and Iron Giant. But Rick and Rick is supposed to come into it soon. Might be Taz, Taz or Arya Stark. Even though I never even watched it. Arya Stark is really good. She's fast. She's more of an expert character, uh. But she's she's pretty like simple. She can steal your special ability for like a little bit and use it. But uh, I like her knife attack. Where if I knife you, like Kirby, are you serious? So like, so like, say I toss a knife. What'd you say? So like, I toss a knife at you. And you knock me out of bounds. If I use my knife ability again, I can come back to the knife and then grab it and slice you from the back. Cause they get like perks and stuff. Uh, Jake, 
plays like Kirby from the way I start. Yeah, R. Stark. But uh, uh but Jake plays like Kirby. <coughs> Jake's Jake mm. cuz like Jake is so but Wait, so the Stark she can't steal your powers? She can copy it for like one move. So say like um uh, uh say Superman, he his neutral ability is to to his his neutral ability is ice breath. You can you, you she can copy that ability once to use mm-hmm. it before going back to her original neutral ability. Mm-hmm. Okay, but what does she have to do to copy it? it I think that's what does uh, she have, does she have to do anything? It's just her neutral ability. That's what she can do. Okay. It's called face swap. Oh, so it's just default. Yeah, uh, uh, it's called face swap or face steal, or something like that. But she's a she's an expert character, like, because they each have like classes. Mm. So there's different classes. There's mage, brute, uh, support, mm-hmm. and assassin. She's an assassin. Okay, but does the dragons come out of her combo or no? No. That's because that's not. I think you're talking no? about. No, because that's not her. That's not who you're ta- thinking about. That's Daenerys, or whatever her name is. Oh my god. Ar- Arya Stark is Maisie yeah, Williams. So... Yeah, she's just some, the little one. But, the little yeah. little girl who just who has a little sword or whatever. Yeah, she's the swords woman. The swords woman. She's pretty good. But Daenerys might actually be in it because that's not the full roster. That's only the the ones that we know right now. Because yeah, they because they're the full roster. Open, it's free to play, so you I don't I don't know what you gotta wait on. You can you can get the characters like as they come along. I thought you said the game didn't come out. No, it's it doesn't. It's the open alpha starts in July. But the game will come out in the fall officially, like, for people to be, like... You know how they always do, like, an open beta for people to play before the release? So the open alpha is... It's the finished product, but it's only the few... <coughs> it's the, only the few characters so you can get a taste of it before the actual release later on. See, like, we were the test... We were the testers. We were the, mm. the, the test run to... Be like, all right, this move, this works out smoothly. All right, I like how this character works. All right, change this mechanic a little bit at least, or you know, certain things. So then, when finally the rest of the world can play, it's already at a good point, and then all they got to do is just tweak it a little bit, mm-hmm. and then, boom, game comes out, everybody can play, and it's free to play too. So the only things that you really, um, I recommended to them. Is if we buy something, it, it it just better be the skins, cause like you can uh, change the voice mm-hmm. announcer, you can change like your banner, your your profile pic, mm-hmm. and all that stuff. But I'm not paying for for, for like, oh shoot, this is a, a profile of this character, but it's ninety nine cents. Uh, I'm not buying that. I want it free. But if it's a skin, I'll buy it. Like mm-hmm. Wonder Woman, she has her Nubia skin. That's dope. I would buy that because she mm. looks cool. Um, mm. But like, there's like, like certain skins and stuff. Like, I would pay for that. But other than that, it's a free to play game. I see what you mean. Because that's just like, <clears throat> I'm thinking about. You don't want it to be like a new character comes out and you gotta buy him for like five dollars. No. And uh, only no. people want to play that. Yeah. No. They they wouldn't do that. So, yeah, it's how, f- what you call, how did you become a tester though? I got I saw an Instagram post. I signed up. They said I was approved, so they sent me a code. I played the the op- uh, the closed beta to test it out. I did a survey, and because I did the the closed beta, they gave me a closed alpha reach out, and I was like, say less. I started playing, and then they said I was able to share it to people. Shared it to. Two people, and then uh, 
now um when i play you'll probably see because i play i fiend on that game for a week um so i'm gonna have that banner that says i'm a uh i was a closed alpha player and stuff oh shit like in sword art online yeah like in sword art. he was a tester he was a beta a beater <laughs> he was a beater oh, yeah so yeah, what do you call those shirts? Do you call them wife beaters? Or wife white beaters. I call them wife beaters. Really? What? What an F? Yep. Even though it probably is white beater, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know uh, that's that. a, that's a controversial thing to think about. <laughs> it's controversial, right? Because. Cause only, cause only wear, cause only wife beaters wear white beaters. But white people white beaters. Maybe that's what they want. They wanted you to fucking think about it. Yeah, I don't wear white beaters. I wear tank tops. Tank tops. It's just it it it, it sounds. It's, I knew you were gonna say some <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Cause that's you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you wear tank tops? Tank tops. Nah, tank tops? No, I don't know about all that. He said, no, no, that's not me. I've heard other people call it tank tops before, but like me personally calling it a tank he's, top. He's like, I can't, yeah. I can't call it a tank top because <laughs> it's not a tank top to me. You can't fix my lips to say that. You, you can't say that to Lots me. people. It's a lisp. Maybe that's where it came from. Maybe they just wanted a cooler name for it. So it like, yeah, Instead of... Because they were afraid to call it uh, <laughs> wife beaters. <laughs> they were afraid to call it wife beaters, so they were like, you know what, let's, let's use a tank top. <laughs> no, they were afraid to call it tank top. And started calling them wife beaters. Mm, I feel like it was the opposite. I don't say such a, such a, I don't know, no, tank tops is like normal. That's what girls wear. Girls wear tank tops. There's boy tank tops. <laughs> They're like surfers. <laughs> this nigga. Like surfers. Oh, I don't see tank tops on the street, but it's about to be summer. You going? Yeah, you mm -hmm. going? If tank tops are anything that it's a white beater that is colored and is actually more thick and doesn't rip, like you, everybody you see with what a white beater definitely has a hole either in the front or the back of their shirt. Mm. And you know them things mm. ain't clean, full of sweat, dusty, ain't washed, stanking, or looking musty. <laughs> you look dusty. But yeah, once the once the open uh once the open alpha comes out, I'll um I'll let you know so you can download it, and test it out. I think you would be uh I think you might not mind Arya Stark. What? But I, but I feel like you'd be a uh yeah. you'd be a Taz or a um mm -hmm. or a Batman. Yeah, I, I feel like you Batman? Nah, maybe you oh, are. Ma no, nah, maybe you are a Taz and Shaggy. Batman plays the, uh, pretty good. Uh, he has a bit an ability because so and on his level in the Batcave, smoke comes out of the environment, and so mm -hmm. other if you play in as another character, you can't see characters hiding in that smoke. But if you're Batman, you can. Mm -hmm. What? So say like so if this game so, has to be online then. Yeah, it's an online game. I mean, you could go against bots like, and you stuff can't too. Be playing on the same screen. I'm like, you can't be on the same screen as somebody. I did recommend that to them. I don't know if they'll do it though. Because honestly, the way that because uh, honestly the way that the game plays, I kind of wish that they could, but I don't know. Mm. But. Um, but like, no, like say if you're playing online, regardless, whatever, like say if, uh, cause the way it goes is you can either go one V one 
or 2v2s. Uh, so you can go player versus player, or you can do player versus bots. And during player versus player, you know, it's still the same thing. But uh, say if you knocked out one person and you can't find the other person, that's because they're probably hiding in the smoke. So, but if you're Batman, you can see them. You can be like, oh, you hide in there. I can see you. And you just knock and you can continue fighting. I wasn't thinking, I, I don't, I, I kind of like a lot of the characters. Jake, Shaggy, uh, and Arya are my highest ones, highest leveled ones that I got. Even though my progress is going to restart. Um, mm. Superman, uh, I thought I was going to be like, ah, uh, I don't really care about Superman, but honestly... I play with him a lot just to fuck with people because um, he has this one ability where he flies at you, grips you, and then punches you. So I've been doing that to people mm -hmm. where that I will grip them, punch them off the stage, and as they try to jump back, I fly at them, grip them up, and then punch them right mm -hmm. out of the ring. Some do. Oh, I, did, I did that to some guy, and they were like, yeah, no, I'm not rematching. I'll qu I quit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like yeah. busted, man. They're gonna have to, like, gonna have to yeah. nerf Superman. Nah. Mm -hmm. Does he have any good skins? Uh, the skins. Uh, they they ain't released the skins yet. We just had like the base play. Uh, oh. Uh, but they did show some of them. Like Jake has another has one where he's like the cat version from the show. Uh, Batman is Batman Ninja from the movie. Superman has a, a classic comic skin that people were like excited about. <clears throat> Wonder Woman is getting a Nubia skin, so it's like it's the Black Wonder Woman. Uh, Shaggy has a couple of them. One of them looks like he's Ryu, but he has like a full grown beard, like bushed out and stuff with a bandana. Um, and then there was another one, and then uh, he has one called Un Uncle Shagworthy, so he's in a, a, a suit. With a monocle. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, I gotta be a Shaggy but, So but, what's the Shaggy versus Superman mashup? What? Matchup, like, what's the matchup? Like, who's in favor of Shaggy versus Superman? Shaggy, and I could I could match anybody who's yeah. Superman with Shaggy. His power his power ups makes his attack strong enough. Like. I'll, I'll Who, Shaggy's? Yeah, like one kick, I'll send you flying. <laughs> and then he has this. Th his, oh, then he has a projectile where he grips a sandwich out of the ground, and then when you're mm -hmm. in his charged up mode, you can hurl it and it grows bigger, so it could cover the stage. <laughs>